Okay, hi everyone. So in today's video we're going to be looking at setting up a cage for your new guinea pig or guinea pigs. Okay, so for the purpose of this video I've just used the bedding that I have at the moment, which is snowflake wood shavings. I picked this up at Home Bargains and this is what I've laid down as a substrate. So the first thing that you want to consider is what bedding you want to use. Um, so that's entirely your choice. Lots of people use wood shavings, some people use straw, fleece, it's really up to you. Um, there's a lot of beddings out there on the market, so I would recommend if you're looking into bedding before getting your pet, then um, just have a browse online, see what other people are saying. Even ask me in the comments and I'll let you know what I think on different beddings. But remember, it's just my opinion um, and this isn't what you have to do. And obviously, before you get bedding, you choose your cage. So if you're getting guinea pigs rather than a, a rabbit, because this is kind of geared towards guinea pigs, um, you would be deciding whether you're going for a CNC cage, a cage like this, which is a, a fair plast cage. There's loads of cages on the markets um, and there are size recommendations on the RSPCA website on what you should have for what, excuse me, one to two guinea pigs. Um, there's a thing, a type of cage called a CNC cage. Those are really good if you have the space or if you're obviously be able to make them. And as you see in a lot of my older videos, I have guinea pigs in um, outdoor hutches with runs attached to them over the summer and in the winter their accommodation changes in the garage. Okay, so the first thing that I'm putting in the cage here is a litter pan. Now this is entirely optional, this is not something that you have to have. A lot of the items I'm going to show you in the cage will be optional and I'll tell you which ones. Um, when you first get your guinea pig home they're going to be really nervous and they're not going to be kind of, they're not going to be chewing on toys and playing with things unless um, you're buying them from somebody who's had them for a while and they're already kind of used to humans and things. But if you're just getting baby guinea pigs or guinea pigs from a pet shop, that kind of thing, they're not going to be sort of running around playing for the first few days at least. So a litter pan is entirely optional, but if you fancy trying to litter train your guinea pigs, I would recommend just putting it in from day one. And um, what I would recommend is actually putting their hay in the litter pan. And so that's kind of encouraging them to go in there to eat their food and as you know guinea pigs will be eating hay sort of 24 7 basically and they just pee and poo where they're standing eating so then the droppings will automatically be going in there so if you pop a pile of hay in the litter pan then the guinea pig will be standing in there to eat the hay and that's where they'll be peeing and pooing. If you would like me to do a bit more of an extensive video on litter training I will do. I wouldn't recommend using the same bedding like I've done here. Um, you want to use a different kind of bedding so that they're always like, oh, I always go and pee on, say, the um, cat litter or whatever it is. Okay, so obviously you want to put hay in. Um, I've just shown you that I put it in the litter box. You can have it in hay racks. You can have it in all these different kind of hanging balls and things that you get. But when you get your guinea pigs home for the first time, it's quite good to have their food down at a low level. If it's in a hay rack, they're less likely to eat it as much because they're going to be scared and hiding in their hut and things like that. So at least for the first week or two, I would recommend putting their hay down on the ground or in the litter pan just to encourage them because they will tend to run away when they see you. But even put their hay in the hut with them would be quite good as well. So as I said, guinea pigs need hay sort of 24-7. It helps with their digestion and it also helps to keep their teeth ground down. And the hay that I'm using at the moment is the Sterling Natural Meadow Hay and this is actually from the same brand as Supreme. So it's sort of the Supreme Original, Supreme Science, whichever make. It's a really nice hay. It's quite nice and stocky and fresh. Okay, so the next thing I would recommend always having is this tunnel that I've got here. This one I actually picked up in Asda and they only cost one pound. And you can also get them in pets at home, you can get them online. These are actually sold everywhere. They come in sizes for rabbits and hamsters and ferrets and all these things. But one pound is a really good buy. So if you do live near an Asda, I would recommend going and having a look and seeing if you can pick up these. Without a doubt, my guinea pigs, and I have 11 of them, um, tunnels is the one thing that they wouldn't want to be without. They've got big ones for outside and these ones for inside. They'll hide in them, they'll chew on them, they'll go through them. They just love to go through a tunnel. If there isn't one in the cage and I put one in, the first thing they do is explore and run through it. So 100% always recommend having a tunnel for your guinea pig. Okay, and one of the very essential things that um, you would have for your guinea pig, again, is a hut. Oh, hello finger. So this is one that I got on Viovet. It comes in various sizes. It comes guinea pig size, rabbit size, although I don't think the rabbit one would suit rabbits. I'd recommend getting that for if you've got two guinea pigs. Um, this particular size will only fit one guinea pig or a couple of baby ones. My guinea pigs love to jump up on things and jump off 
Um, it's one of their favourite things to do. Obviously guinea pigs can't climb like a hamster can, but they do really like being up on top of things and looking down and um, they will go up, once they're brave enough, they will kind of go up on here and they will sleep on it or you can put food up there for them kind of as a like a boredom breaker if you wanted to hide some food, hide some in the tunnel, hide some up on there and it's just a little bit more interesting for them to go and find it or their favourite vegetables. So you must always have a hut for guinea pigs, they are quite nervous even once they come round to liking you. You'll find that um, once they are comfortable with the home that they're in, they will just kind of lie out um, in the hutch, you know, when they're they're chilling. But if they're startled or you move quickly or whatever, then they will run into the hut. So it's really important for them. Okay, so obviously one of the essentials is going to be a water bottle. If you buy a um, what's classed as a pet shop cage, it's quite likely that it'll come with a water bottle. Um, and this particular one is not the one that came with the cage, but the holder is. You can see that it holds on like that. <clears throat> but um, these classic bottles actually come with a holder that goes around them. It's up to yourself, there's many different kinds of water bottles on the market out there. Um, just have a look online, have a look in pet shops. The last thing that I would consider to be an essential would be your food bowl. Um, as you can see here, the one that I'm using is quite inexpensive. It was a couple of pounds from somewhere like Asda or Morrison's. It's a cat food bowl. Cat food bowls are perfect for guinea pigs because they're just that little bit bigger than a guinea pig bowl that you get with the pet shop. Some people would prefer to use ceramic or a heavier bowl because guinea pigs will um, they'll stand in their food especially when they're youngsters and they will tip over the bowl and I have noticed in some videos that I've watched that um, some people's guinea pigs actually okay, chew at the so bowl. We found a guinea pig to demonstrate the new cage and as you'll see um, what they do when they go in is explore the new surroundings, have a look to see if anyone else is there. Um, the tunnel, um, checking out the smells, aren't you, chum? Hey, checking out the smells, checking out the smells. So he's my demonstrator, and the things that I'm going to show you now are the sort of non-essential items that you want to put in the cage but if you're just getting brand new baby guinea pigs these are the things that you might want to pick up over time or not put in straight away because guinea pigs really won't play with toys straight away you want to give them a little bit of time to settle in and then start adding things in and as you can see there um, this bowl has not been disinfected since I took it out of um, the girls hutch so you can smell them can't you? you can smell the ladies so he's quite happy Okay, so these non-essential items that Cal is kindly checking out for me um, are actually items that were sent to me by Chloe Murray. Oh, thanks Cal. Thanks. <laughs> um, these were sent to me in a trade and... Hey, what you doing? So we did a trade where we um, swapped some items and I've been keeping these aside for when the guinea pigs get their new accommodation which they will be having for the winter. And these are the sort of things I think um, would be nice for you to pick up but you don't need them straight away. Obviously it's good for guinea pigs to chew on wood to keep their teeth down and things like that but not all guinea pigs do and their pellets and their hay will cater for that. So I thought I would show you a few of the... What you doing? Oh boy! What are you doing? So I thought I'd show you a few of the things that you might want to pick up for your guinea pigs or the kind of things that might interest them. Thanks, Cal. What a little monkey. You like this? Do you like this? I think I might have to give him Corny the Owl. So anyway, the first thing is this um, Corny the Owl and you can see that this is made from kind of I guess if he's called Corny the Owl, he must actually be made from something corny. I don't know, but it's uh, a different kind of material and the guinea pigs do seem to really enjoy, enjoy um, this kind of thing rather than wood. And all the other items, you cheeky man, you cheeky man, are actually wooden items. So we've got this kebab, these are really good, I would recommend you got one of these whether you got this or you got the one that's just a uh, plain hook which is just the metal part and you can put treats on it and you can put vegetables and fruits kind of hang it from the top and Bob's your uncle we've got a boredom breaker haven't we got a boredom breaker and it's also got a sucker on it so if they're I don't think you would have a guinea pig in a plastic cage but if you had some kind of DIY cage it might be handy and then of course 
the last item again it's just another kind of wooden chew that you can get and I actually hung one of them up and this is a sort of rainbow with cloud and a sun hanging off it and it has bells on it and I found that um, the younger your guinea pig is the more they like this when we've had um, baby guinea pigs as in brand new ones they do like to pull on the bells so that's how um, those are the kind of things I would do if I was setting up a cage for a new guinea pig and um, thank you very much Cal for helping show us what your guinea pig might do when it comes in its cage it'll come in it'll check out its surroundings um, Cal's obviously you can see Cal's quite comfortable with my hand being in there and um, he's gonna be are you gonna be four are you gonna be four I think he's gonna be four this year so we've had him for a really long time and um He's our cleanest guinea pig, aren't you? You clean? Are you clean? Tell him. He says, yeah. He is litter trained, although this little dropping over here says something different. But Cal is actually litter trained um, and quite confident. So that is about all, I think. We've got our cage set up. Um, if you've got any questions or you've got new guinea pigs and you're wondering, are you... Um, confused about any of the behaviours that they're displaying, they obviously they're not going to behave like Cal. Um, when you get your brand new guinea pigs, they are going to hide in the hut. You're probably going to think that they're not eating, they're not drinking, but as soon as you go away to bed at night, they're going to come out and they're going to eat and they're going to drink. So if you do want to see what your guinea pig gets up to when you're not around, I would recommend even setting up a camera or a webcam or something and that'll put your mind at rest and it's also quite fun to watch. We've um, had a webcam on one of the guinea pigs before and it was really interesting to see what she did. So I hope you enjoy this video and I think that's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from Cal. Can you say bye bye Cal? Can you say bye bye? And he's like don't touch me, don't touch me. So bye everyone and I'll see you in the next video.